Hi everyone. So we have seen the PTR season 25 patch notes yesterday. I already made a video highlighting all the important details. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. There's also the link in the description if you want to read for the whole thing. Here I mostly want to talk about the fiber changes specifically. So if you look at the nerfs to Firebirds, which first of all were very expected, I assume, because it has been overperforming a lot, it has been extremely popular because of the extremely high power level, it has been very tanky and has dealt a lot of damage from the get-go without really any investment and it's super easy to gear. So obviously this is a prime candidate for a nerf and it kind of makes sense to see that and I don't think that anyone really has to be surprised. So the changes in particular are the two-piece burners goes from 3000 to 1500% and the six-piece burners goes from 5000 to 2500%. So essentially the whole damage is getting cut in uh, half twice, which is roughly something like a nine tier nerf or so. Now nine tiers is a quite heavy nerf. This is bone spear level nerf like we have seen in the current season and after that Firebirds is not really any good anymore. It is still fine, 9 tiers is nothing crazy, it still can be used but on the other hand in terms of like the overall power level of builds with the new stuff and with the other things getting buffed and also what we have seen with Inners for example coming in season 24, Firebirds is just not gonna be really used anymore I'm sure. Now the thing with this nerf is it really takes away the only thing that the wizard class has really to offer right now. There are a lot of really cool solo builds for pushing especially. There's the Veers, there's reverse Archon builds, there is uh, the Twister, the Hydra, so there's a lot of cool stuff. But Firebirds was really the only build that people really played on, on wizard especially for farming. Now it was extremely powerful in formin farming. People were blasting through 150s in 3-4 minutes. I think the top clears are something like 2 minutes at this point. And obviously it is very powerful. But that mostly comes from the interactions of extremely high paragons, making the mirror images very tanky, allowing you to play a more offensive setup and in turn making you deal a lot more damage because you can stand still and channel and not die and your mirror images won't die. So on the lower end of things it is definitely overall a lot more balanced and not really that crazy besides the fact that it's so easy to play. Now this nerf is also something that I was kind of afraid would happen but didn't really want to see happen. So we have seen only a numbers change and not really a mechanical change. And this is really what I want to get at here with uh, the Firebirds nerf. And I have been talking about this in other videos already. I made one uh, a while ago and I made another one another while ago. And we have a lot of comments um, basically saying that people don't like to play with mirror images. I think the reasons are obvious. The AI is really borked. They don't really do what you want. They die very easily. And yeah, we have gotten this UI indicator showing how many images are live, which does not really do anything because, well, either they die or they don't. And you don't really do anything about it. Wizard with Firebird is a build that feels not like the wizard class at all in my opinion and it is slow paced you stand there you channel and you have your mirror images doing something for you and you really have to hope and pray that they will do the right thing so overall you kind of give up control and don't know what's going to happen and it feels really bad to play but personally i found it quite interesting that mirror images actually had some use for once i think that the way they were used didn't really suit the class in general. I think mirror images should be something more of a defensive tool or something where maybe they throw ranged attacks like uh, firewalls or whatever and not just uh, hope for them to find the right target or not run away or not immediately die. Now here's an example of a build that I have highlighted uh, not too long ago which is a manual flame blades version that also includes twister for pulling enemies with the Rensselaer's Folly. So this was a nice farming build. I was blasting through 120s here, as you can see, with my wizard on season 24. It was really fun. And basically a lot of people started trying their build or told me that they have been playing a similar build and they found it a lot more fun than whatever the mirror images were doing for them. So this was not the best build, but it was decent enough 
And with the increased fun factor, it definitely made up for the fact that it was a little bit weaker than the mirror images most of the time. Now obviously this build would become weaker and weaker the higher you go, so in pushing there was basically no other option besides mirror images. But there is a Flame Blades build, we actually have a guide for that specifically on Maxwell as well, in case you didn't know, where you can also push rather high and somewhere up to like 5-6 tiers behind the typical mirror images builds using Flame Blades manually. So that is kind of a thing already. And I think that this is something that the devs should look at again, because I think just the numbers nerfs is not really all that interesting and taking away the mirror images from Firebirds would probably be the right way to go. As it stands with the new numbers of Firebirds, Wizard is going to lose its whole viability for everything. There's not going to be any good solo farming build. There's not going to be any group viability and Wizards is just going to be forgotten completely again. So I think pretty much everyone loses because it's not going to be fun to play a weak version of Firebirds with the mirror images for many people. I think the greatest part of my proposed change with removing mirror images from the build, removing the death wish from the build and then having people play a manual version of Flame Blades is that it doesn't decrease the power level by all that much and it actually gives Wizard a new build to look forward to as their top build to farm and then to push with. It would probably still be outperformed by Twister at the very high end for solo pushing, but in general, Firebirds with Flame Blades should stay the best build for farming. So that is the main point I wanted to make here. I think this nerf here in particular is kind of lazy. And it also surprised me a bit that we don't see any other nerfs, for example, to Inners, which in fact is actually quite a bit stronger than Firebirds right now. But I guess the devs want to give a new set or reworked set some time to shine even if it's outperforming heavily, but obviously Season 26 is gonna bring a huge inner nerf, I'm sure. But just that being said, I think that this should be changed to removing mirror images, keeping the numbers the same, and that would already suffice, in my opinion, to bring Firebirds to a solid level, keeping something for the Wizards to stay relevant in the game and not just completely go down into the gutter again. So that's what I wanted to share here. Let me know about your thoughts, maybe about some other things that I've seen in patch notes. I'll be talking and making videos about a lot more, so stay tuned. Hope you like this video and see you guys next time.